Your client can either be lying down or sitting up. First of all, you should cleanse the underarm with some alcohol wipes. If you're using hot wax, cover the hair and skin with a light dusting of talcum powder. This is going to protect the skin from the heat of the wax, but it's also going to lift the hairs. When you're applying hot wax, you should apply it against and against, which means apply against the growth of the hair and then remove against the growth of the hair. To ensure that you're getting all of the hair, you can sketch the figure 8 with the spatula. Divide the underarm into segments so that you're waxing the top half, the lower half and then the middle of the underarm. The middle of the underarm can be quite sensitive, so try and keep that to a small wax patch. Okay, so we're good. If there's any hair remaining from areas you have already waxed, you can either A, go over that area one more time with the hot wax, but I wouldn't recommend any more than twice, or you can use tweezers. To clean off any hot wax residue, you will need to use an after wax solution. Generally it's oil based and it will help remove the tacky hot wax from the skin. Any time that you perform any waxing, you should give aftercare to your client. That means that you wipe over the skin with something that soothes the skin. It might be tea tree or it might be aloe. In this case, I am using 97% aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is renowned for its healing properties, so it will give a calming effect to the skin. Prep the skin again with an alcohol wipe. For sugaring, you want to make sure that the underarm is dry. Either use a cotton pad or a cloth and just dab along the skin and make sure that it's dry before applying the sugar. The rules are the same for sectioning. You're going to do the top, the bottom and the middle. Apply the sugar very thinly. So we're going to hold tight. If you hold there. We're going down ways, we're going up ways to remove. Okay. The other really important point for successful sugaring is the stretch. There needs to be a two-way stretch. This means the client stretches and you stretch. And you stretch from opposite sides. Generally you will stretch from where you're going to remove the strip from and they will stretch from their end. Sugar is gentle on the skin so if you have any hair left in an area just go over it again. To clean off any sugar residue off of the skin, just use a damp cloth with water and it will wash away. Taking care of your skin is important after hair removal. In general, you should not. Exfoliate within 24 to 48 hours, have a hot shower, lukewarm is fine, go sunbedding or sunbathing, or engage in any vigorous activity. You want to avoid vigorous exercise for 24 to 48 hours. That means the gym, running, swimming. The reason why is because your follicles are open for 24 to 48 hours. When you sweat, you can create bacteria. So therefore, if that bacteria gets into that open follicle, you can end up with folliculitis.